Hi Room 5, we're going to be doing some maths this morning, some number things. So I think we better do some warming up by counting together. Can you help me? Let's start over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I wonder if you can use your fingers to show me this number. Can you show me that many fingers? Seven fingers, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can you show me this many fingers? That's easy, isn't it? Two. Can you show me this many fingers? Four fingers, almost your whole hand. One, two, three, four. What about this many fingers? Almost two whole hands. Number nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What about this number? That's easy, isn't it? That's all of our fingers on one hand. That's the number five. One, two, three, four, five. We're experts at number five because which room are we in? We're in room number five, aren't we? We know a song about the number five. Do you want to pretend your five fingers are five green peas? You know this one. Sing along with me, ready? Five green peas in a pea pod pressed. One group. Two grew, so did all the rest. They grew and they grew and they did not stop until one day the pod went pop. Oh my gosh. Get your other hand ready. One, two, three, four, five green peas in a pea pod pressed. One grew, two grew, so did all the rest. They grew and they grew and they did not stop until one day the pod went pop. Good singing. I could hear your pops because they were so loud. My gosh, I could hear it all the way from my apartment. Well done. And we're going to be learning a little bit about these guys today. Do you know what this is? Might take it off so you can see a bit better. It's a clock. Have a look. This is my clock. You might have seen some different clocks that I wear. Sometimes I wear this clock to kinder. That's a clock as well. And here's another clock that I've got. What do clocks do? They're very useful. They're really useful because they tell us what time it is. It's very important to know what time it is because when you know what time it is, you know what you need to do. Your mum and dad might use the clock to know what time to start making dinner. Maybe you might use your clock to know what time your favourite television show on ABC Kids is on. David and I use clocks so that we know what time on a Thursday Music Sue is coming, or what time we need to start getting ready for lunch or what time we need to start getting ready to go downstairs to see our friends in room three. Clocks are really, really helpful. And it's really, really handy if we start learning how to read clocks, if we start knowing what time it is. So that's what we're gonna to do today. Now I've got a very big clock here. Do you think this is a real clock? No, it's not a real clock. This is a clock that I use when I'm trying to learn about telling the time. Let's have a look what we see. What shape is our clock? It's a circle, isn't it? A big circle. And I can see some red numbers in here. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. 
11. Who's hiding behind here? 12. There are 12 numbers around our clock. Hmm. I can see these funny guys. I wonder what they are. They look a bit like arrows, don't they? We call these the hands of the clock. Do you know what the hands of the clock do? They move around and around all day, all night, around and around and around the clock. And the hands are the way we know what time it is. I can see that one hand is very big, one hand is very small. And the hands tell us different things. This big hand, when it's moving around the clock, how long do you think it takes to move all the way around the clock one time? This big hand is moving around the clock. How long do you think it takes this big hand to move around the clock one time? It takes 60 minutes. 60 minutes to move all the way, all the way around the clock, 60 minutes. So this hand is the hand that tells us about minutes and it takes 60 of them to move all the way around one time. There's another way we can say 60 minutes. We can say that that's one hour, one hour. Now if this hand is the hand that tells us about the minutes, which hand do you think will tell us about the hour? The big hand tells us about the minutes. The little hand tells us about the hour. Now, before I keep going, you might see a clock at your home and it might have three hands. Don't worry about that little, the very, very, very little hand yet. We're not gonna worry about that one yet. We're gonna worry about that one another day. At the moment, we're just worrying about the big hand and the little hand. Now the big hand tells us minutes, the little hand tells us about the hour. Another way to say the hour is knowing what time, what a clock it is. You might have heard your mum or dad or me or David say it's nine o'clock, it's ten o'clock, it's eleven o'clock. That means that it's the start of a new hour. So if I put my big hand up here where it's the very the start of the hour when it's pointing straight up we know it's the start of the hour and if I put my little hand on this number I wonder if we can work out what time it is if we can work out what a clock it is. Now let's see, the big hand is pointing straight up, so it's the start of an hour, and the little hand is pointing to the two. So we can say it's two o'clock. And if the little hand is pointing down here, well, the minute hand is pointing up here, so it's the start of an hour, the little hand is pointing to the five. So we know that it's five o'clock. Mm. What if I move the little hand up to here? How do we know what time it is now? Well, the minute hand is pointing straight up, so we know it's the start of an hour. And the little hand is pointing to the 10. So we know that it must be 10 o'clock. Let's go all the way around, ready? One o'clock. Two o'clock. Three o'clock. Four o'clock. Five o'clock. Six o'clock, seven o'clock, 
eight o'clock. Nine o'clock. Ten o'clock. Eleven o'clock. Twelve o'clock. Fantastic. I'm going to see if I can do some tricky things now. I'm going to get these two guys. I'm going to roll them on here and I wonder if you can help me make to time. Let's see. Let's have a look. So, I rolled one, two, Three. So I want to make three o'clock. So how do I make three o'clock? Let's think. I want to make something o'clock, so the minute hand needs to point straight up, because that means it's the start of the hour. And I need to move my small hand, my hour hand, to the three. Is that right? It is right, isn't it? That's three o'clock. Let's roll the dice again. Let's see if I can get it on the board. Oh my gosh, I've rolled a big number. I wonder if you can help me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's a very big number. It's number 12. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 is straight up. So I want to make something a clock. So I'm going to point my minute hand straight up, my big hand straight up. I have to point my hour hand. That has to go straight up as well, pointing to the 12. When both hands are pointing straight up, we know it's 12 o'clock. Let's roll the dice again. Oh, we've already had this number, haven't we? What number is this? One, two, three. We already had three, so let's do a different one. Ooh. Let's have a count. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you show me ten fingers? We can do that fast, can't we? Number ten. Okay. So we know that it's something o'clock. So the minute hand has to straight pointing straight up. Let's move our little hand, our hour hand. Now our hour hand always moves this way, doesn't it? It always moves this way. Have you ever seen a clock moving this way? Clocks don't move this way, clocks always move this way. So I'm gonna move my hour hand around. One, two, three, four. Oh, what number am I trying to find again? Oh, that's right, number 10, number 10. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The small hand, the hour hand is pointing to the 10. The minute hand is pointing straight up, so we know it's 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Let's do one more dice roll before I tell you what I want you to do today. Hmm. If you can help me count here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, so we've got to make six o'clock. Six o'clock. Okay, well, I want to make it something o'clock. So I'm pointing my minute hand straight up. My hour hand is going around. It's going around, around, around. Oh, it's stuck. So let's see. I want to make six o'clock. So one, that's not right. Two, that's not right yet. Three, Four, five, 
six, six o'clock. My minute hand is pointing straight up, so I know it's something o'clock. My hour hand, my little hand is pointing straight down to the six, so I know it is six o'clock. We might try to make some clocks tomorrow, but what I want you to do today, I want you to have a bit of a clock hunt in your house. I want you to go around to all the different rooms in your house, see if you can find any clocks. I was walking around my house and I managed to find three different clocks, or sometimes we might call these watches if you're wearing a ringy hand, but it's still a clock, it's a clock. I've got three clocks here, but I also found my phone can tell me the time, so that's a clock as well. My computer, look, it's story part. My computer can tell me the time as well, so that's a clock. I wonder how many different things you can find in your house that tell the time. And I especially wonder how many of them look like this, like clocks. So have fun on that today. We're gonna keep on doing some more clock activities this week. Thank you so much for listening, Room 5. Bye-bye.